After years of surplus money, California now facing a budget deficit. Governor Gavin Newsom unveiled his budget today. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us to explain what this deficit means and more on just how much money we are talking about. California is facing a $22.5 billion deficit, but Governor Newsom says that he is not going to dip into the rainy day funds. Instead, he's going to cut back, delay, shift around some funding in order to prioritize what Newsom says is the most important. Last year, California had a $97 billion surplus. So much money that cash is still being handed back to Californians in what the state is calling the middle class tax refund. A shortfall of 22.5. A stark contrast to the news Tuesday, a $22.5 billion deficit. Why? California is a state that relies on high earners and capital gains taxes were lower. It's an EKG and that sums up California's tax structure. It sums up the boom bust. But Newsom said he will not waver on his priorities like education. It's the universal school meals. Again, no one does what we do. Or health care. You see here the universal coverage, regardless of immigration status. We're all in. We're committed. We're not touching that. And he will not be using any of the money California has stowed away for rainy days. Why? <laughs> I don't need to tell you uh, what you already know. Some of you more intimately. If you've been trying to buy a house. Interest rates are high and Newsom wants to save the reserves in case the economy gets worse. So how does he plan to address the deficit? by either delaying or cutting billions in funding from previously funded programs like zero emission vehicle programs. And if that doesn't work, there's another 3.9 billion that could be cut if necessary called trigger cuts. The two big ones on the triggers, which is climate and transportation. Why climate and transportation? Because of the magnitude of those budgets, unprecedented. Republican Senator Roger Nilo is happy the governor is not tapping into savings, but says the state could have avoided this. Don't obligate more than we have and don't obligate more than we think we're going to have. Uh, we continue to do that in this state and we run through these difficult cycles. Like other states. That uh, have managed their funds so that they're even looking at reducing their income tax load. This is the governor's first budget proposal. He has until May to update and revise this proposal as the state gets newer revenue figures. And Morgan, uh, Governor Newsom says that he doesn't have plans, at least as of right now, to dip into that $35 billion in reserves. But it's lawmakers that have the final say on the budget. Are you hearing what they think about that? Well, after the governor's inauguration speech just last week, I spoke to a group of Democratic lawmakers who told me that they were not that concerned about this budget deficit, specifically because of the rainy day funds, indicating that they were ready to use it. Now, in a statement, Assemblyman Speaker Anthony Rendon, who the governor will have to work with on this budget, said, and I quote, large reserves built over the last decade may be important for protecting California's progressive investments. All right, Morgan Reiner reporting live from Sacramento. We'll see how this all shakes mm. out. Morgan, thanks.